Trey Rock is here. It is time for the great one, the YouTube People's Champ. Oh, to do another Try Not to Laugh Challenge. We're back with the one and only Justin Whitehead. Some more My 600 Pound Life Try Not to Laugh Challenge. Can Justin Whitehead break the great one? Oh, I know goddamn well you ain't about to do. I know goddamn well you ain't about to do that. J-Rock has come back to you too. What is happening with the millions? <laughs> On oh, the millions of J-Rock's fans from all over the world. That's right, baby. J-Rock is here. Oh, we got to check out. We've been back. It's been a minute. Since I've done Justin Whitehead's, but we are back with more Justin Whitehead. Try not to laugh challenge my 600 pound life. Don't know the name of this episode. Uh, we're about to check it out. You know the drill. If you break timestamp where you lost and why, if you make it through, you got to type the smack what's laid down. All right. Let's waste no more time, baby. J-Rock says this. Justin Whitehead. Just break. My body's taking over me. It's destroying my life. It's somebody else in the damn bed. Away from me. Everything. Now, I know goddamn well that man one squalls over there in the fucking corner like that. I ain't even see it. My body's taking over me. It's destroying my life. I feel like it's taking everything away from me. Everything. And I feel like I'm imprisoning my own body. I do feel like a caged animal. How in the fuck you think that man feel laying over there on his damn side with that portion of bed you give him? Shit. Oh, I know goddamn well you ain't about to do. I know goddamn well you ain't about to do that. Ugh. I know good and goddamn well. I. Just something that simple, using a restroom. It's a I hope to God you can't get your ass up. <laughs> I'm trapped in this body. And can't get to the damn bathroom, but I bet you make it to the kitchen well. Without help anymore. I feel Ooh. sorry for this motherfucker here, man. The first Ooh. damn thing he got to do when he wake up Ooh. is care a bucket of fucking Ooh, I was, I, oh, piss to the damn bathroom. I almost lost. Ooh, I almost lost. Because she's I was that close. She hate being like that. And that makes me feel sad. Your boy. Oh, God damn. Now leave the guy on. Because I never want that to be my kid's job. Because I never want that to be my kid's job. Is you bringing her that same fucking bucket she just squatted and pissed in? You know what? I'm done with both of these motherfuckers already. So I can't completely do it. Why the fucking soap at? You standing your ass right there like you wasn't ready to get up. It's humiliating. Ooh, you're damn right. When you have to have someone God listen. damn, now. Like, why the fucking blur it? Now you won't, that'll be the goddamn day of some bitch bent over on all fours for me to wash and moisturize their ass. And when you can't do anything for yourself, it's hell. You just won't get it done. What kind of fucking neighbor is that? I feel disgusted. Me too. Shit, just looking at it. How in the fuck you think we feel? And I always feel like, what could I have done different to prevent it? Got away from the fucking table? Look at that shit now. You got to tuck your goddamn stomach. <laughs> Remote. When I was really young, I wouldn't I was give a fuck. Oh, God. Oh, I almost broke. I almost broke. Give a damn about that backstory. All these fucking pictures you big in. <coughs> <coughs> with 
the shit, man. Alone because our body couldn't handle it anymore. That was my darkest moment. Are you still on this shit? Like you're eating this shit. And now I spend most of my day in this bed, trapped in this room, mm. barely able to function on my own. All because I can't stop eating. Are you happy about that? Really living, so. I don't even consider myself to have a life. Because the You're gonna need to do more to spray on shit. It's hard. The fuck you spraying perfume yeah, for just to lay your ass down like a rug. I feel like I'm slipping. <laughs> we wouldn't want that. But Troy takes care of everything. Everything about me does it, it makes me upset, especially when I'm hungry. Because when I crave something, I just have to have it. If you won't get your ass down there and get it, you won't have it. Shit. I have a lot of family around. My cousins and their kids are in and out of the house all day. So I always have someone to give me what I want. But when I'm ready to eat, I don't like to wait. So Troy brings my food. Hey, How many you both the fucking have? Shit. Worry about my children. What the fuck you smelling it for? Your goddamn daughter on the way to you. Quit doing your damn man. man. I don't want them to take care of me. But it's like sometimes I don't have a choice. Come on, give me a, a peach bottle, please. Dork, you need a fucking peach soda. I feel like I shouldn't be at the point where I have to put my children in the same situation that I was in. Yeah, I hear you talking. My mom, she stayed there a lot in the room. And it makes me sad because if we could switch places, me having all that weight on me, and she can go out and play. I would be really happy because... Well, you just keep sitting your ass in there eating with her. You'll have it. Shit. You think you saying so. And look at your, your, your damn sister sitting her ass right there. She ain't that fucking big yet, but she on the damn waiting list. I'm just like, oh, God, yes, you know. But I always feel like I don't have enough. I hope you bite your goddamn tongue. I don't do anything else. I don't do any other type of drugs or anything else. So I think food is my drug. And I can't stop. Look at that shit there. I need help. And I need it now. Because I'm knocking on death's door. You got damn right about that. Before he answers. And you still sitting out just putting that shit away like that? I'll come in one day and find me dead. Who wants to think about that? <laughs> I know I have to stop living. Girl, eat that fucking, uh, whatever that damn thing is, and quit sitting out there nibbling on it like that. Sitting out just biting on that damn thing, trying to save it. Eat that fucking shit. You know your mama gonna eat again. Yeah, What the fuck is going on here? Because I'm going to see Dr. Nazari. Yeah. I've wanted to see that for a while. Yeah, so the fact that I'm finally doing this is a big deal for me. Uh, Mom, you just let it off here? I'm a little nervous. More so ready to, you know, get there and see what he has to say. And I'll tell you what he's going to say. This visit is very important. This is like a make or break situation for me. I've tried other diet things. I've talked to other doctors. This is it. Mm -hmm. Let's have the surgery. Mm -hmm. Should be happy. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah, should be happy. I'm just trying to prepare myself mentally, but I'm very anxious. Because the worst fear for me is a no. The no to me is a no to my life. You ought to stop fucking eating. Oh, God, she gonna fucking kill this little girl. I feel like God has brought me to this. He's opened up a door for me. So I feel like something else has to give. My size oh, I feel bad for Troy. Taking away my Troy food. ain't nobody but Norbert. And I have children that I need to live for. I know the fuck they ain't got no damn rims on that shit. I, I mean on that van. I can't do it on my own. I need the help. Well, I'm telling you about having friends. Go get me another wine cooler. Boy, I know Troy thought he would kill them when he put them damn rims on that van. 
and I'm a little worried about the Look at Troy, he ain't even driving the goddamn. Quit moving around like that before you been fucked around and made us flip. It ain't gonna be long before she wants something to eat. Uh-oh, time to eat. You know, I'm evolving emotions right now. You know, I'm thinking about my mom and, you know, how I lost her due to all of this. So I'm, a lot of things worry me. If it's a no, you know, could that be me next? You know, so I'm, I'm worried. But trying to stay positive at the same time. Hmm. But I know that van be catching here. <laughs> Black folk to make you look small. <laughs> oh, God damn, I got to see this. Oh, I'm sure what it is. Ton, watch this. Ooh. Good God. I know that motherfucker broke. It was, it was one episode, it had a stop sign. <laughs> What in the fuck you sitting out depressed for? What'd you think it was gonna say, two? It's a little shocking. You know what the fuck you look like? To change that. You sitting out your goddamn hand on your head like you just knew you was a man. What you ain't gonna do is get your ass over here and carry on. So excited. That man's gone. He ain't gonna ever run out of bed. You can tell Troy ain't got shit on his mind. He got, he got job security now like a mother. What seems to be your biggest challenge with your dad? Not E. Sweets. So. Okay. I'm you, sorry, you, man. Ooh. I can drink a 12-pack. Maybe a little more sometimes. Just depends. I can imagine what the fuck your kid is like while you're sitting there bragging about that. Uh, I'll have a snack. You know, I like my chocolate. Maybe some chips sometimes. Dinner usually comes... Eight, nine, ten o'clock at night, and I have whatever I'm eating for dinner. Mostly burgers or pizza. And you just ran your ass back in the bed. <laughs> that stupid song bitch sitting right there beside him. Turn your ass around when I'm talking to you. Troy's stupid ass. Look at him. So he does. Look at him sitting over there at night like he came down. Everybody really does. Look, 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 boy, I tell you the truth. I know a stupid song, bitch, when I see one. Okay. Okay. Tanisha is going to be an interesting case. At five foot one, her weight is extremely out of control. She is proportionally equal to 700 pounds for someone of more average height. So her body is being pushed to the limit right now. Well, hell, we know that. I ain't no damn doctor. She won't live much longer at that point. So how do you see that the surgery is going to change any of this? I feel like it's giving me hope. It's giving me something to look forward to, you know. You, know, you can give yourself some fucking hope. That's a pick of the speech. Give me hope. Give me it, it, I mean, moderation. Oh. You ain't going to be able to bullshit, doc, now. We've been doing this a long goddamn time. Me with the other part, cutting back on the food. <laughs> the smack was barely laid down. I almost broke at the beginning, bro. She kneeling down in that little pot, and Justin lost his mind. Oh, I was, I was, I was, I was almost gone. I was almost out at that part. Good God Almighty! But. J Rock did what J Rock always does, and that's rise to the occasion. That was coming at J Rock from every angle, and J Rock fought off, laid the smack down on all their Rudy Poop candy asses, like he always does. But I almost lost. I ain't gonna lie to you. Now, J Rock says this Where did you break? J Rock knows some of you broke. Time stamp where you lost and why you lost. But if, and J-Rock means if you were somehow able to make, make it through this without breaking, oh, well, baby, you got to type the smack was laid down, all right?
Post your comments down below. Let Jay Rock know what's not his reaction to this video. No rhyme intended on that line. If you enjoy, just try not to laugh. Challenge hit that like button, subscribe, and share. Make sure you hit that bell so you can be notified when it is time to be electrified. Thank you for joining Jay Rock. Stay tuned to my next video. Mamba, GG, and welcome forever.